If you've experimented with using Autolisp to control AutoCAD startup, you may have found that there are two files that control this behavior, one called ACAD.LSP and another called ACADDOC.LSP. The key difference between these files is that ACAD.LSP loads only when AutoCAD starts, but ACADDOC.LSP loads for every subsequent drawing. So if you have multiple drawings open, there's a difference in how AutoCAD will start based on these two files. What I want to do in this segment is to show you how you can use a system variable that is called ACAD Lisp as doc. Pull that up here in the Autodesk Exchange Help System. And this variable can be set to control ACAD.LSP to load with every drawing that is opened in your multi drawing session. This allows you to control your AutoCAD Autolisp startup using only one file instead of two, so it's a little bit simpler to manage. The first thing that has to happen is you have to go into your support search path. You have to add a directory where your ACAD.LSP file will reside. I've done this on a network drive X and set up a folder called Autolisp. So if we look in that folder, there is in fact an ACAD.LSP file, which I've inserted some sample code into. I've chosen to suppress my expert system variable, setting it to one. So this will turn off some of those nagging are you sure type prompts. I'll set my view resolution to 5000 by default, and I'll make sure that a layer called objects is actually created and set to be current. So every time AutoCAD starts, it loads this file. So if we hop back over into the drawing environment, I expect to see a layer called objects that exists in this current and, and sure enough, it is. But what if I were to create another file, a new drawing file, which would be drawing two in this particular case. Let's have a look at how that occurs. So we set up a new drawing file. We use the default template. And we actually are prompted about the status of this ACAD Lisp as doc system variable. You may have seen this before. It's asking if you'd like to load it into only the first drawing which is default and recommended, or to load ACAD.LSP into every drawing, which would be ACAD Lisp as doc, set to a value of one. You can elect uh, either way, but I'm going to leave this in default behavior. And I'm going to set this to always perform my current choice. So we're now in drawing two, and we'll go over here and check the layer properties manager, and we'll see that the layer objects has not been created. But we saw in our ACAD.LSP file earlier that we would have expected that to be created, but it's not because ACAD.LSP is only loaded into the first drawing session, not every subsequent drawing session. So the way that we can reset this is we can simply go to the command line and we can type in ACAD Lisp as doc. That's one way to do it. Default value is zero. We can override that and set it to one. Or optionally, you can go into your options. You can look in your system tab here and see that there's a setting there, load ACAD LSP with every drawing. So in fact, our ACAD Lisp as doc has now been set to one. Let's create another new drawing, again with the standard template. And this time in drawing three, we're going to see that the objects layer has in fact been created, and that's because ACAD.LSP is now being loaded with every new drawing session. So now you've got a way to completely control your system startup and every subsequent drawing startup using just one file with no more need for the ACAD.LSP file. That's a neat trick. Put it in a network directory and you can control how everyone around the entire enterprise starts up their AutoCAD with just one file. Good luck.